nzuri penda huo mwangaza ambao uko nao leo unapendeza sawa sawa uko nje kama uko ndani ya nyumba ndio naenda kubadilika background yangu sasa hishi um hi ni uh, shule ya lugha na na yo nanofanya kazi sasa subiri kitoko in background and fact okay I'm scared now. I came to listen and it's just me and oh, Darwin is coming too. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have not I have not been practiced. Oh so I'm still I'm still shy and I'm panicking because I'm moving next month. Oh, Why? Mm -hmm. Why you panic? You know, like um there's one thing that I was taught by one of my friends. Um she lives in Peru and another one is Avera. So they had trouble communicating in English, like um when they were out here in Africa. So as you know, so they get to speak Spanish every day. So their English, they don't think it's um, comfortable. But when we are having a conversation, because I can understand sub uh, substantially good amount of Spanish, you find that they are casually throwing Spanish words in between for those words that they think they don't know in English, right? And I'm mm -hmm. following the conversations. So, for a person trying to listen to the conversation, they are like, wow, what language is that? It's English, but it's not English. Then I'm like, it's in Swahili. I think in order to speak English together, you might have to need to understand like uh, the classification of nouns, how it operates. Then from there now you can, you are able to input the English words in between. <laughs> so that it makes sense. But, um, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm go I'm go yeah. I'm planning to um make friends of the local children mm -hmm. and exchange teach them English while they teach me Swahili. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, children I I would say like uh, children are always like um the best practice bodies when it comes to languages because I guess they don't have filters, but also their language is not advanced to like um, a level which would be very difficult for you. So it's easy for you to process the information. And also children are polite enough to repeat the things that they said slowly when they see that you don't understand, but also mm -hmm. they make fun out of it. You know, it's fun, you know. When you yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so I have so, 43 days. <laughs> ah, so uh, beginning. So I'm happy nina furaha pia kukuona. Ah wiki hiyo pita si kukuona. So nilishindwa kupotea wapi? Ah uh, kwa sababu tuseme nina bahati. So hii wiki nafanya kazi lakini siendi kule ambako nilikuwa naenda so nafanya kazi tu hapa karibu so tuseme ninachukua kama muda wa dakika 40 hivi upande mmoja mm -hmm. uh, alafu pia msongomana wa magari like the traffic uh, ainipati barabarani kwa sababu inakuwa tu rahisi kupenya kabla msongomana wa magari uanze so natoka kazini saa kumi na moja na ikifika saa kumi na moja dakika arobaini hivi niko nyumbani so yes kutoka wiki iliyopita ndio maana niko hapa lakini nikienda kule ambako nilikuwa nafanya kazi bila msongomano wa magari ilikuwa ni karibu lisari moja na dakika thelathini upande mmoja na lisari moja dakika thelathini kurudi na nikipatana na msongomano wa magari karibu masaa mawili masaa mawili na nusu ambayo inachukua muda mwingi sana kwenye usafiri lakini niko hapa nashukuru kabisa 
I don't know. Did you get that? <laughs> Eduardo is nodding so. I don't know if you got that. Ndiyo, uh, na, na, na dhani ni mepata pehem uh, kubwa ujumbe wao, ujumbe wako pole. Okay, yes. Cindy, may I ask you something? Yes. Which country are you going to visit in Africa? Kenya? Yes, Tanzania. Ah, Tanzania. Okay, okay. And now, do you know how to ask this question in Swahili? Which country are you going to visit? Give it a try. Try to make the question. Ah. Uh, it's funny. I just saw this last night yeah. and several times. And um, I have drawn blank to it. Maybe it's nerves. So don't you worry. It's just relax. It's just nerves. Yeah, that has that that has happened to me thousands of times. I'm gonna help and you I, in Chi, in Chigani. Say, say it again. So in Chigani. In Chigani. Uh -huh, remember the country. So what you do is that the question word is inverted in Chigani. In Chigani. Okay. Uh, so Amal is writing that. Amal okay. just wrote that. You see on the chat? Yes. Yeah. yeah. In, in America. So like if you're asking somebody which country are you visiting or which country are you going to? So the first, of course, Unajua Enda, it's to go, and Tembelea means to visit, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Inchigani, which country? So which country? So Inchigani, Una Tembelea. But then you can put it. Either way, so in Chigani, una tembelea, ama una tembelea in Chigani. That is the beauty of language. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, so you can put either the verb after the main part or the main part comes first, then the noun comes later on with the question. Yeah, the beauty of So, yes, not Ichigani is just mm -hmm. So, Ichigani is just where are you going? Or... No, no, no. Inchi is oh, the country. country. Gani means which. Which country? Which, which means country? like which country. Okay. Then, yes, yes. Then, una tembelea means you are visiting, right? Then, unaenda means you are going. You go, yeah. So, yes. Yeah, so we, I put, I gave you like two options in the chat, so you can check them out. So, but Inchi Gani means which country? So to say I am going, would it be like, Anna? Um, would it be Anna Enda? Or so this? you say Nina Enda. Yes, Nina. Nina Enda. Nina Enda. Okay. Yes. So it would be Nina, Nina Enda, Tanzania. Tanzania or Kenya. Yeah. Yes. Going, you can say Ninaenda, Tanzania. Then you can say uh, Upande, which means like the side, or you can add Mkoa province or a region. You know, then you say Dar es Salaam or Zanzibar or Arusha or whatever. So you can add whatever you want to go. But that is like the next part, like a secondary part to that, you know, like this. So, for example, if person from Tanzania, like uh, or within East Africa, they are asking you, "Unenda wapi?" Then you can be like, "Ah, Nita enda," because when you use "Nita enda," it means like the trip is like today, tomorrow, next week. It's like in the near future-ish, but also in the present. But if you say "Nita enda," means like a couple of months down the line. So you can say "Nita enda." You remember the future and the present. Tana. And D, Name, so whatever. So mm -hmm. you can use those. So you can say Nita Enda, uh, Upandawa, that is Saram, Upandawa, Rusha, Upandawa, Mwanza, Upandawa, Iringa, you know, you, mm -hmm. you can this... say Upanda means like the side, Upanda, um, the side which you are going. So, okay. yes, the Upanda. side. So, like, for example, if, yes, if I'm coming to the US, you can ask me, Unaenda Wapi. Then I can be Ninaenda Marekani, I'm a Marekani Upandewa, Florida, or Upandewa 
Arizona, upande wa Texas. Then, yeah, then I also either want to go in much into details, I can say now the cities themselves. Mjiwa, you know, Austin or, you know, Tampa, Florida, you know, put yep, Miami, yep, yep. Florida, put something there, in, yes, in between it. Yes. Hmm. Sawa? So, and also Upande, you can use it like um, when you are giving direction, okay? So like down the streets, if like uh, you don't know the place, somebody can tell you Upande wa Kushoto or Upande wa Kuria Ama, just like this. So like if they are giving you direction, so like which means like the right side or the left side, you know, like this. Kushoto and Kuria, Upande wa Kushoto, Upande wa Kuria, you know, yes. So that is also important. Mm. So Kushoto so, will come out of the Upanda. Um, yeah, yes. yeah, Kushoto, I think. Yes, Kushoto means like um, the left side. The left Kuria side and the right, the right side. side. And also, mm -hmm. yes, and also, funny enough. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I do well, though, maybe not this. The reason why we use this, it's because like um, most of the people are right under right. So when you find that uh, being right added, it means that um, if you want to cry or lament, you technically, you know, wipe your eyes, the tears with the right hand. So so it's called like the crying hand, which you can use to cry, you know, and wipe the tears with, because it's like the dominant hand. Then, uh, yeah, we have Kushoto. Kushoto means the non-dominant in Swahili, but, <laughs> Sorry for another day, though. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just a small fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's in the day. Nani, Cindy. Cindy? My potato. Repeat. Ah, I'm saying like uh, you can continue. Uh, I said umepotea, so you went missing in action. Like uh, we can't hear you. Uh -huh. You want me to repeat or? I'm sorry. I'm... No, I say like uh, you can continue with the conversation. Now I'm done with my theatrics, explaining about the um, <laughs> the crying and and stuff. Mm. No, I, I'm finished. <laughs> ah, Lisa. Sour. Then also to add that we need. Okay. Apana, Cindy, Hongera kwa kwa usafiri yako mwesi mwesi ujao hongera sana kwa uh, usafiri yako mwezi ujao wako 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 ah, yeah. remember cd is the main subject ah, yes yeah. yes like uh yes cd is the main subject usafiri is like a uh, secondary yeah no, exactly. secondary usafiri. usafiri wako so i know hongera you put sana. Yes, you, I know that you put like uh, Usafiri as uh, the subject, but CD is the subject. Yes, in this instance. So you say Usafiri wa. Usafiri wa yes. More ujao. because of CD. Yes, Mwezi Ujao. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, Julie. So, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, no, that is a different. Uh, so you know Eduardo is uh, speaks better Swahili than I do. So most of the no, time that's, you find that's that wrong. Uh, we are <laughs> new wongo. New wongo. <laughs> so yes. So, uh, <laughs> so we have um we different uh um, so we have different different words that we can use like um also by there when you're saying it's alright. So you can say adaha wongo so wongo uh but also the some people can say wongo wongo then also some people can say 
can say what? Ragai. You know ragai? Kuragai mtu? Apana. Like uh, when a con man, like uh, when a con man, like a uh, cons, like uh, do it, does something, like, how do we call it? Say? Like uh, mm -hmm. the action of a con man. So when a con Imperative. man, a con person, con artist, when, like uh, yeah, the verb of uh, when a con artist, like, um, drops something from you using like, uh, yes. So yes, okay. So we have a diff uh, different uh, verbs. So you can say, and wongo, okay. Wongo, so like uh, the second one, it's like a verb, okay. Then also wongo, it's a noun ish, the third one might be a noun, but also, you can use the infinitive of like uh, wongo and people get to understand depending with which part of the like um the 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 east africa region you come from then also we have ragai so ragai it's like um you know you know like uh lying to somebody especially like a con artist using like a clever ways to acquire something and then later you can realize oh i've been robbed of my possessions so we can say Kuniragai. Then also anda, it's also synonym with ragai, but rather than they, you know, it's lying to somebody. So maneno mengi sana. Yes. Mm -hmm. But also you can say danganya. Also we can say danganya. Yes, danganya mm -hmm. means like to lie. Danganya. Mm -hmm. Yes. Kudanganya. Kuna danganya. Kwamfano yeah. on. Yeah. Nina danganya. Yes. <laughs> A lot of words. Yes. Always of the time. <laughs> Kilamara. <laughs> Nina Rangaya Kilamara. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, Kuna Kuragai, yes. Dagai is like um the like this, then the verb itself, then so yeah, and yes. It's like there is. So if you separate it, so this should be two words, Jed. So you should, um, it's like two words. There's, um, if you say like this, Kuna, like this, so that is when it can make sense. So Kuna, Kuragai. Then there is also, you know, lying. Okay. Yes. Yes, kuragai. Kuragai is the infinitive of ragai. So without the K U. So I remove that. Yes. Because you cannot say like for example, uongo with the that uongo, you can say, you cannot say like um uongo. No. So it don't make sense. Then uh uongo, it cannot make sense. Okay. So now we use like um uh, nimem ragai or nimem muanda. So these ones becomes like the verb or nime danganya. So those ones, right? So those are the verbs that you can use. Then wongo, uh, like this, the wongo, the two wongos, you can use it most of the time. You can use them as a noun. Yes, abstract noun. Yes. Then anda, ragai, and danganya, use them like that as verbs. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. Just up by the way. Manana mengine mazuri kabisa, you know? Yeah. Wakati mengine uwa taikaya ni maneno ambaya tufikiri sana kuya usu. Lakini pindi tunapofanya mazungumzo, uwa nafaya, kuna mtu wa meniuliza, unajua neno lipi kwa kiswahili ambaro unafaa utumie ukizungumzia kitu frani unajua vipi nikamwambia sijui kwa sababu unapata mara nyingi unapata ni kama tu maneno kama hata kwa kiingereza unapata kama finish complete unajua so done so unaweza pata hayo maneno yote unaweza yatumia yote kwa pamoja unaweza pia yatumia kama Visawe, via maneno mengine, kwa sabu unaweza sema completely done or, you know, finished completely, ama I'm finished or I'm, I've completed. Ajua, unaweza yatumia, yata kwa pamoja lakini pia wakati mungine. So, uwezi jua vipi, 
inategemea na muktadha muktadha it's like the context of ambayo unatumia yes so which makes the language very interesting yes inasisimua kabisa kwenye lugha ama vipi eduardo no bila shaka unasema kweli a uh, kiswahili ni lugha um kinasisimua kisa kinasisimua sana kwa sababu wao kuna kuna fasaha bisawe um kuna kuna na hao uh, kiswahili kina kina kote kiswahili kina kote kweli kama kwa mfano hapa kwetu Mombasa huwa naambia watu Mombasa unapata watu wa Mombasa ingawaje <laughs> shuleni kwetu tunasoma mambo kwa Kiingereza hapa Kenya ila Mombasa hata kama kwa, kwa mfano chuo kwenye hao wanafunzi ambao wanafundisha unaweza pata mtu <laughs> ni mkenya kabisa amezaliwa hapa Kenya mwalimu ama mkufunzi yeye mtarajia andike mtihani wake kwa Kiingereza ila mwanafunzi pia amekubaliwa kuya kumpa mwalimu majibu yote kwenye Kiswahili kwa mfano naangalia unaona hizi karatasi nimeshika hata siko nimeangalia so kuna wanafunzi hata ndio nimekumbuka ni leo nilikuwa na nakili tu alama zao so ni patia walipatia mtihani kama wiki mbili zilizopita so huu mtihani tunaita kama leadership slash mind education so kidogo unatoka elimu ya ufahamu so unatokana kidogo na biblia alafu pia tunajaribu kuwafundisha kama viongozi ambao wataongoza vijana sawa so kwenye ile shule yetu so kuna huyu mama ambaye ni mzuri sana si useme yeye na pia kuna bwana mwingine pia mitiani yao naona kumbe walipatiana majibu kwenye Kiswahili kwa sababu wanaulizwa kwa mfano uh, swali ni nzuri kabisa wanaulizwa describe the nature of the man according to the bible so, so baada ya kupatiana jibu kwa Kiingereza anaanza tu majibu yake vizuri mwanadamu uh, mwanadamu mtu aliumbwa kwa mfano wa Mungu ni mtu ali alimwasi Mungu kwenye shamba la Edeni so and they continue and they explain everything ambayo it's very interesting kwa sababu Nairobi kama ile wakati ambao naweza sema wakati ambao nimeketi Nairobi ni ngumu sana upate mwanafunzi amekuandikia mtiani kwenye lugha ya Kiswahili Nairobi ama sehemu zingine lakini ukija Mombasa hata mtiani wa kitaifa <laughs> unapata mwanafunzi amejibu mtiani kwenye Kiswahili na hakuna amba, uh, kitu ambacho mwalimu anaweza kafanya yuasaisha majibu vizuri na nampa mwanafunzi alama zake <laughs> so yes bila shaka Kiswahili chenyewe kina maneno kwa sababu kama wale walimu ambao tunajitolea nao pale tunapata walimu wengi hawapendi kusaisha Kiswahili sawa na kama mnavyojua mimi na kuna mwalimu mwingine rafiki yangu yoyito David kwenye Kiswahili tumebombea so bombe do you know the meaning of kubombea kubombea to carry Bom, no 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 bombea bombea not not exactly to carry hapana sijui kubombea inamaanisha like um, experts okay like uh, ikikuja kwa lugha ya Kiswahili uh, si kuongea tu tuseme kwa maswala ya kusoma kuandika kutafsiri kwenye lugha zingine tumebombea it means like we are experts kwa sababu watu wengi unapata hapa Kenya tunafundishwa Kiswahili watu wengi wanaongea Kiswahili lakini ikija kwa maswala ya unajua ku kutafsiri pano 
kama I am ajibu sawa so unapata mtu anaweza kaandika kama ni kitu tu cha kibinafsi lakini kuna majibu kwa mfano mwanafunzi amejibu kusema karatasi ya uandisi wa stima so electrical engineering so amejibu kwenye Kiswahili niambie wewe kama muhimu ukufundishwa haya maswara kwa Kiswahili so inakuwa ngumu kidogo so mwalimu anakupa ile nakara ya majibu ambayo anatarajia anakuambia nenda kule tafsiri haya majibu yaweke kwenye Kiswahili alafu unileteni nijaribu nisahihishe so kwa sababu huko ndio kubombea you are an expert yes so kubombea tunaweza sema kwa mfano Eduardo ukimlinganisha na watu wengine wa kutoka Costa Rica amebombea kwenye lugha ya Kiswahili he is an expert in like a Swahili language hata ubarozi wa Kenya kwa Costa Rica unaweza ukamuita aende atafsirie mtu kule kwa sababu amebombea yuongea Kiespanyola yuongea Kiingereza na yuongea Kiswahili so unaweza ukaitwa utafsiri kati ya hizi lugha tatu huko ndio kubombea like you an expert yes i don't know does it make sense <laughs> yes yes so na lengwa kabisa imekuwa ni kitu cha kusisimua kwa kweli okay yeah so anyways um, najua na mambo mengi sana ya kusema sema so yeah msinyamaze sana Naona dawi na menyamaza siyo kama yuko hapa na sisi CD is very quiet Jed very quiet I know we are speaking big big Swahili today I don't know but uh, yeah we are just having fun a little bit so don't be shy kazi hata kama unajua maneno mawili yes dawi mhm mimi ni kazini kwa sababu ni ni ah msema sana ah sawa 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 <laughs> sawa 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 asante sana kwa kuja lakini i hope that uh, you are able to follow the conversation i know we might speak a little <laughs> bit of more swahili so yeah so today uh, we are actually planning to give people more swahili on tuesdays you know then more grammar on that days so we are trying to push you know people to continue speaking because that is the essence of these sessions uh, on tuesdays and uh, we are trying to have people co- uh, you know conversing you know stretch their knowledge to the maximum so i hope you are getting to practice and be, by this and when you are not speaking mimi le wakidogo Ah, okay, okay. Hmm. CD. CD. CD is lost. Tenez, tutaendelea na Jed sijui kama yuko hapa na sisi. Okay. Sawa, so ni venona hata tuseme mazungumzo ya wiki iliyopita. Eduardo, si uliku, ulikuwa na sisi hapa wiki iliyopita? Ah ah. Wiki iliyopita. Ah, wiki iliyopita nimekuwa na shughuli nyingi. Ah, yes, tumekuwa na Beth. I think umekutana na rafiki yangu Beth mwenye you are issue Faransa, sio? Ah, ni Beth. Yeah. Sasa na Yes. Nakumbuka Beth. Yeah. Beth ni msichana kutoka Kenya, sivyo? Yes yes you are issue Faransa to go to meongea naye ile wiki nyingine alikuwa um, yaniuliza kuhusu madarasa 
nikamwambia mm. wewe ndio unayafanya madarasa uh, na mara nyingi pia ya kujua lakini ya kujui kwa sababu nadhani ile kitambo kidogo kuna wakati alikuwa nakuja pale na pia alikuwa yuaja pia Martha unamkumbuka Martha walikuwa nakuja pia kidogo kidogo vile so wanakukumbuka bila shaka so nikamwambia wewe ndio unafanya mikutano anaweza kuja tu aka akaongea nanyi so yes so ndio tumekuwa na yeye wiki iliyopita so ile darasa ambalo tulifanya wiki iliyopita ndio limeweza ku kuingia kwenye Patreon so nililiweka jana na juzi jioni ndio niliweka so liko kwenye Patreon so unaweza ukaliangalia so nimeweka kiungo pale kwenye kwenye kikundi chetu cha WhatsApp so mm-hmm. Beth you asema you ongea kifaransa kingi sana ani anasahau kuongea kiingereza na Kiswahili <laughs> <laughs> yes Okay okay. Wow. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, nishaka. Mambo ni sasa. Hivi ndivyo hivi ndivyo maisha. Hivi ndivyo maisha. Eh watu wengi eh wanasahau lugha yao yeah. kwa bahati mbaya. Hmm. Um La- eh, lakini lakini wewe unaona sidani unaweza sahau lugha yako kwa urahisi vile. Kwa mfano hata uketi kama uh, tuseme mwaka mmoja miwili mitatu hata bila kuongea Kihispaniola, unaongea Kiingereza tu, uwezi ukasahau lugha yako kwa sababu unapata lugha ile ina tuseme mambo mengi sana ambayo yame naweza sema yamekukuza. So they yamekukuza pia una tuseme vitu vingi sana vya kukumbuka kwenye hata kwenye ile lugha so unaweza sahau maneno kwa sababu akili zako kidogo zimeweza ku, ku, tuseme kuegemea so like shifted zimeweza kuegemea upande wa hii lugha ya pili ama lugha ya tatu ambayo unaongea lakini mm-hmm. wakati unapoanza kuongea wiki ya kwanza uh, lugha itakuwa kidogo inakulemea lakini itarudi tu ni, ni kama umeweka kwenye akiba mahali kwenye store so akiba so yes mm. utakurudia yes wow yani okay thank you sana um well um pole sana lakini sasa lazima niondoke kwa sababu naenda naenda kuja kuji ya tarisha masomo yangu masomo mm. yangu ya Yeah, naenda asante sana wote kwa kuja asante sana Amwen kwa kwa kutu kutu asante sana kwa kutu fundisha Kiswahili wewe we, 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 we ni mtu mwenye fadhili ni mkarimu sana asante sana asante sana kwa wote okay marafiki Cindy, Darwin, Najet, Asante sana. Okay, naenda kuondoka mkutani. Karibu. Asa, kwa na wakati mwema. Okay. Kwa heri ya kwa nani? Kwa heri kwa sasa. Okay, so wengine, Cindy, are you there? Najua na wakopa kuonga. I know that you are very shy when it comes to talking. <laughs> Dio. Why? Unajua ukiingia Tanzania there is no English. <laughs> eh, hey, utakuwa unasikia chika mo anti. Sawa sawa. You know she come right? Deal. Yes. Yeah, so utakuwa unasikia chika <laughs> mo. You are right. Marahaba. Then also, when you say marahaba, don't just say marahaba. So you just say marahaba, abaria kwa, kwa, you know, how are you? Because they are like this. You know, then they are like, anzuri sana, neza kusaidi aje. You know, how do I help you? And you're like, ah, natafuta gari. Or actually, you say natafuta daradara or natafuta taxi ya kuenda tan, 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 tan. 
Then ita kwa shinga afu mtu anakwambia it's like 20000 if we shirini na tano sirini nini then like ah hiyo ni bei gari sana you know unaweza fanya 1018 niko nayo you know can you it's very expensive can you like uh, you know discount uh, the price from the 25 i have 18 then they are like ah sawa so nitafanya shirini then twende you know and the conversation is basically in like um most swahili Mm -hmm. because hata ukipata ambao wanaongea kiingereza unless in the major cities but the moment you are out of the cities not to disappoint you in Tanzania in Kenya people always speak in their Swahili and English but in Tanzania once you are out of the city even the city themselves like we not not have a lot of people are speaking English but once you are out of the city unless you have somebody with you you are off the line. So you before you meet like uh, English speaking persons, it's fine about. Yes. Yeah. Maybe I would there's be, more kids. Yes. I would be yes. outside the city in a village. <laughs> so. Yes, but, but the good thing is like um if you meet like the younger kids, the system that they are using, the younger mm -hmm. kids speak better English than the teenagers than their parents. The teenagers, yeah. Yes, yes, because they have a different system, so they are teaching more English like the younger kids. They say, miaka kutoka miaka. Saba, nane, tisa, kumi, and see like junior high school ish to senior ish, they might speak very good English. They understand everything now. So, Rakini, while I was there, like my age, they don't speak good Swahili. Unless, I mean, good English, unless they, what you end up when you, to say, Monafanya, Kazi, and you know, Siana, Kingereza. So, yeah. So, Ambayo, it's very interesting. So, Mfumo means like uh, the system. So at um, Rwanda, it's almost the same. Rwanda, it's almost the same. So Rwanda, what was there, when on Kifaransa, Kawingi, Nakinya, Rwanda, then the younger people, because they changed the system, speak more Swahili, more English, and the Kinya, Rwanda. And a little bit of French on the side because Unapata. Um, they have uh, all the French system still. It's not like uh, completely gone, but mm -hmm. uh, you find the parents are the ones who are speaking better uh, French. But the English are too We are able to find more people who can speak more English. But in Tanzania, huh, is Swahili you know, is Swahili yeah. very common? Is Swahili um widely spoken in Rwanda? I suppose to be going to Rwanda too. Yes. Yes, yes. So uh, Swahili is spoken within East and Central Africa, but uh, in order to find the Swahili speaking persons uh, in Chigari, yes, and the eastern part of uh, Rwanda, they speak uh, better Swahili. Not everybody, but um, yeah. at least you might find people who speak uh, Swahili in the eastern part. In the and, eastern uh, part. The eastern part mm -hmm. Yes, yes. The eastern part is like, um, you know, next to Tanzania because Rwanda is a smaller country. So by the time you start going towards the northern side where we have Uganda, then you start going towards the western side where we have Congo. Although the Congo, they speak Swahili, but now it's become Swahili Lingara, which is a mixture of Congolese languages, Swahili and French. Unless you speak French, you're of that. So yeah, Swahili, it's a different element, totally. It's all mm -hmm. the thinness Swahili out there. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. but but also Burundi, I think Burundi they speak better Swahili mm -hmm. than um, mm -hmm. Congo even the Congo people they are, they speak cleaner French and cleaner Swahili so yes than the rest of the three neighbors yes the Burundians yeah so but I'm in uh, yeah. but once you mm -hmm. have your, yeah but also once you have your Swahili you'll be fine Plus your English and a little bit of French, maybe you'll be fine. <laughs> Asante. Yes. So maybe you kifika Tanzania utaniambia where you'll be. So ni tangari ya kama nitaeza kukufuata uko. Yeah. Did did it did it make make sense? Cindy. Repeat. What did you just say? Did it make sense with the language? Ah, I'm saying like um, if once you are in Tanzania, tell me where you'll be, 
and I can pop up our way, and I'll be like, yes. oh, I can. That would be great. That would be great. We could have some okay. chat. Just tell me. So where you'll be? I don't know. Are you yeah. starting in that room or are you starting elsewhere? Um, it could be outside of Russia. Ah, okay. So, but but, like, but if you uh, just tell me about the dates, uh, because I know that uh, at the beginning of um next month I'll be in um. Nairobi and um, instead of going straight to it's very easy so from Nairobi to Arusha it's about six seven hours from Nairobi by you know road like this it's uh, nearer then from Arusha to Mombasa it's another seven eight hours so and it's easy so instead of uh, yeah I'm land I'm landing yeah I'm landing October 30th I'm from um October 30th. That's when I'm landing. That mm -hmm. yet? Well, yeah. So October, yeah. So October 29th, I'm flying out. Then October the 30th, I'm landing in Dar. And then I'm gonna be like in Arusha area like November the first and on. Okay. Okay, so uh, still okay. So, which means like uh, by the time uh, you'll be landing, I'll be out of Nairobi for the uh, for the next uh, three weeks. But um, that is something that we can organize. I have some people that I need to go and surprise also out there. So, so yeah, first week of November <laughs> would be great. Yeah, just uh, Arusha is always my place. I I remember about there. I think that's year you you're not here, but um I am always based in Arusha. Whenever I'm in Tanzania, Arusha is always my city, and uh, I feel much comfortable in Arusha than any other cities. I don't like the other cities. Arusha is big, but also not very big. It's smaller, and the people are always amazing compared to all the other cities. That is around, it's big, noisy, you know. Yes. So it's like, and also I feel like um, when I'm in Dar es Salaam, there's no difference. It's like, um, bad when you Mombasa, it's like I'm still in Mombasa, same climate, same everything. So I just chose to go to Arusha because in Arusha, at least um, there's a place where I get to stay and uh, it's next to Mount Meru. So the weather, it's a little bit cool. The sceneries are just nah, beautiful and I can so just chill down and, uh, you know, so you're yes, so you stand near so you stay near Mount Muru, kind of like near Arusha no, Park. It's still, it's still um okay so it's still in like uh, not Arusha Park. It's still like uh, you can check in the in the map. We have uh, somewhere called Mount Meru Hotel. So okay. Yes. So I'm familiar I, with that. yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, Mount Meru Hotel. So um, uh, on the opposite side, there's a route called Waterfall, like a Waterfall Road. So it's like uh, you're going up to Waterfall. So mm -hmm. um, within that yeah, route, so it's about um, like um, 15 to 20 minutes walk from Mount, Men Mount Medwater. Yes, not very far. Though. Yes. Okay. 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 Ah, Sawa, Asante Sana. Okay. Ah, yeah, Quiety.